Hi there. Uh, so welcome to the third video in this series. Now let us understand few backend things of the real-time container. So in the previous video, we have seen that uh, we got a response for the credit cards container, which we have created in our first video, right? Uh, now what exactly happens, right? As a developer, we definitely need to know. So I have jotted down few points over here. Let us see what happens when a container is triggered. Uh, as you know, uh, the service activity will get executed, right? So in the service activity, many things will happen. We will only focus on the very main things. The first one is uh, the customer data has to be loaded, correct? So the customer data is loaded onto the dot customer property of primary page class as a data decision request customer hyphen app using the single customer data data flow. Okay, I will tell you, don't be confused. So basically, uh, either it is inbound or outbound, Pega considered that as a decision request. And for that decision request, we have a class called data decision request customer hyphen application name. In our case, it is CDH, right? So that means data decision request customer CDH. Okay, so this is the primary context of everything. So in this particular context, a property called dot customer. So since I am having the customer as my context, dot customer property will be created basically. If it is another context, the name, if the name is different, let us say it is subscriber. So dot subscriber property will be there, right? So on that particular property, the entire customer data will be loaded. Now how the data will be loaded? Because the data is very complex, right? It is not only a single table. There will be multiple associations for customer data. So those will be taken care by something called as a single customer data data flow. Okay, let us quickly see that particular data flow. So let me go to the Dev Studio and search for this single customer data. Okay, you have to open this in the data decision request customer CDH class. Okay. And here you can see we have, uh, this is a single case processing data flow. Why? Because uh, the source and destination both are abstract. They are loading the entire data onto the uh, a page called dot customer page. They are again calling customer data CSMS data flow. Uh, this will be taking care, uh, this will be taking uh, care of loading the entire data uh, present in the customer table and also all other associations. You can see this is the customer data set, uh, mainly the database table from where the customer data will be pulled out and account data and all other associations. In our case, we have financial services, clickstream, offline product scores, and the out of the box contact summary, action insights to this is used for contact policies and journey stages. So this entire data will be loaded, okay? And the entire data will be present in dot customer and under the dot customer, the contact summary will be present uh, as dot contact summary. That means dot customer dot contact summary. So here dot customer dot action insights. So similarly dot customer dot journey stages. If I go to the customer data data flow here, you can see dot customer dot accounts. Accounts is a page list and dot customer dot FS click stream. So this is how the data will be loaded by the single customer data data flow. Now what is the next step? Now that we are, we are having the data onto the clipboard. Now the next step is we have to execute the logic, right? So how to execute the logic? As you know, for every real time container, a data flow gets I mean created, right? That same data flow will be executed. In the data flow, the GOS NBA issue group strategy gets executed. Okay. Now uh, I think we have already seen that particular data flow in one of our previous videos. I don't want to show that. Okay, now the data flow generated the results. Now this generated results has to be transformed into uh, the container response. That will be taken care by transform SR output data transform. Okay, and uh, suppose uh, like uh, uh, most probably you will encounter this in one of your real time use cases whenever you work in an organization. You want to add additional properties to the container response. So earlier I have shown you some properties right in the postman. If you want to add your own property to the container response, how do you do it? So we have something called extended container properties data transform. We use that basically. So I will be, I mean, the next video, uh, 
uh, in this particular series, we'll deal with to add a new property in the extended container uh, properties data transform. Now, if the capture on retrieval option is selected, what happens basically, the strategy results will be passed on to CDH response source stream data set. There is a stream data set maintained by Pega. The name of it is CDH response source. So when you select the capture on retrieval option, whatever the results which were generated by the strategy upon running the data flow in the second step, those will be sent to this particular stream data set. And what does the stream data set do? The stream data set will be listened by process response uh, stream data flow. Again, this is a real-time data flow. What, what does it do? The, it will actually send this record to interaction history. It will update the adaptive models. It will update the journey data set. It will do everything. Whatever, uh, whatever uh, whenever an outcome is being captured by Pega, everything, uh, it will be done basically okay also we will see the fourth point anyways we are covering the third one in the our next video we will see the fourth point uh, so if i go to the dev studio so let us go to configure decisioning decisions data flows go to the real time processing so in the real time processing you can see uh, you can see process response stream there is a data flow there are two records got processed so far. What are these two records? There are two impressions, right? In our previous video, we have uh, uh, given, I mean, we have ran this particular request two times. So that is why there are two records has been processed. Now you can ask me a question. Cham, where are those click-through records? So click-through records uh, will, be, will not be sent to this process response stream, right? This is only specifically for our uh, container. Okay, so whenever you selected that capture and retrieval option at that time, the strategy results will pass through this uh, CDH response or stream data set. So this is the data set and this is the data flow. This is basically a real time data flow. Awesome. So now let me quickly run the Postman again. Okay. We got the response over here. Here the number has to be increased from two to three. You can see here, right? The process response in the number of records processed are three. Yeah, this is how it actually works. Now, uh, let me open the service again from the mega uh, Pega MKT container. Open the container before. Okay. Go to the method section. Go to the post method. Let me quickly close all these things. Okay. Uh, let me open the handle container request before post. Okay. So let us quickly understand what is happening from here. Handle container execution v4 is being executed. Okay. So here initially the application context has been setting up based upon the app ID which you provide that the context has been uh, should be set up over here. Uh, so now in the ninth step, handle container v4 gets executed. Okay. And here the identity matching profile merge etc will happen. And here in the 10th step, we have something called execute real-time container, open this. Okay, and in the execute real-time container, so here we have, two we have two important things. Step number 14, so here the current customer data will be loaded. In our case, it is single customer data. So what parameters it is having? So it is having the rule name. Now, where does the rule name has been populated? You can see param dot rule name is equal to single plus single plus local dot primary singular name plus data. In our case, the context dictionary singular name is customer. You can actually go and verify in the context dictionary singular name and plural name for your context. In our case, it is customer. So that is why the single customer data will get executed. So the data will be executed and uh, in the 14th step, the entire data gets executed. Now in the 19th step, the data associated with the real-time container gets executed, okay? Now the entire data will be uh, converted into the container response using the transform SR output data transform, okay? Now if I go back, so after this particular 10th step, so here you can see, right, uh, there is an activity called call save response stream record. So in this activity, the data will be sent to 
CDH response source stream data set from where the real time data flow gets executed. Yeah, so this is the high level overview. In the next video, we are going to understand how we are going to add uh, additional properties to the container response. So thank you and see you in the next video.